Good morning. Today is a good morning because today is a race day. But first, check out this crazy view here at our hotel room in the countryside close to Montalegre. Good morning, am I late? Nah. No? This is at least you got to do. Yeah, on a Saturday morning. In the back, Macaroon! Uh, <laughs> it's already in sport mode? Yeah. Okay. By the way, I love this countryside Portuguese and roads. They are the coolest ones in the world. Right, Dave? Portuguese roads. Portuguese? Yeah, they're yeah. good. Race day. Race day. Good morning cars, hope you're ready. You guys done the practice, I've done two runs, feels pretty good. I think we are out there fighting, to be a good one. Four, after a practice uh, here in Montalegre, feels, feels good. It's such a crazy good track, so much flow. I just love this fact. The best chef in the world have fixed me some lovely quesadillas. Oh, that smacks in my eyes. <laughs> this is the camera I need in back of life. Yeah, Tora, put that on the budget first. So I'm just done with Q1 here in Montalegre and I got the worst possible start of the weekend with doing or with not doing a joker lap in my run. We had a problem with the radio and I was too focused on my driving and I don't remember last time I did it but uh, this happens in Rallycross so it's not over but uh, it's a long way now and we need to fight and we're gonna fight. So that's my wheel in Q2. This guy didn't put pressure in it, air pressure, tire pressure. You know, going lighter, no air. It just didn't work out for us this time, but... No, I didn't. Next. It's not his fault. I attacked the corner a bit hard and hit the hole. And as you see here, tires puncture. And what do you reckon, Legend? Well, you know, you have good and bad days. It's a long season, isn't it, you know? It is. Um, I like the positive vibes, you know. It's, uh, the uh, the important thing is, really in the season, we get our bad luck out of the way now. Yeah. And um, you know, we're not keep smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why is this thing not on focus? Why is it blurry? Why? So, what's the feeling after day one? We're still in it. You got to. Uh, <laughs> no more comments. <laughs> keep We're looking, still in. Keep looking ahead, I suppose. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Look. <laughs> Hendrick's naked, look. <laughs> Ready for action day two. Come with the bacon now. Well, that was much better, right? I won my heat in Q3. Feels good to be back on it. The strange thing is I won my heat in Q1 and Q2, but I've never been further back on the list before. So winning my heat in Q3 in a proper way probably puts us uh, in a bit better position overall. I hope so. One more heat to go. He has 99 points. I have 85. Which means 14 points. I need to get on him. This looks really dark, I have to say. It's not over before it's over, though. So. Alright, one Q4. So now I've won all of my four race hits. But we're still in a shit position. Let's see if we can manage to get into a semi final. 
not looking great, but uh, fingers crossed. So this is the exciting seconds before we know if we are in the semi-final or not. So everybody's waiting for us so to get up. Bats? Any bats? Are you feeling it, Walter? <laughs> So yeah, you saw it, we're in the semi-final, and in the semi-final it's all in. How was it? Risk everything, fear nothing. Liam Doran said it first. Everybody's asking, what does it take for me to drive the unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be world champion. Okay. And not world champion of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> The hard thing is that KB is much quicker than me with the second in Japan. Next up is Munster and Jim Rig Riot, and I know the crowd here in Portugal are insanely passionate about Radicals. So I love you all. So we are on the pre grid here before the semi final starts. Boss, any comments? Very good job. Yeah. Amazing crowd here in Portugal. Alright, good luck. What can I say? Sometimes in back of your life it's harder to come with a, uh, give you guys an answer. So this pretty much sums up the weekend. Car coming back on, on the truck. I went for a gap in turn one in the semi-final. Uh, I didn't get through. And yeah, that was the last Montalegre saw of me this year. So with that said, it's time for me to say flat out. 